people of the internet. It's another not in person thing, which kind of sucks. Um, just sucks. Last time I said that the 16, the last 16 month were shit and <laughs> the counter just keeps going up. I'm recording a shim of this talk a month in advance, so we just have something. I am near certain, no, I'm certain I won't make it to the US. I, I hope that some of you are actually listening to this in person. Um, I'm not convinced, but I'm, I'm hopeful that at least some of you are. And yet I and you and every one of us, we are part of the privileged ones. Of course, we, we at least get to attend these things. And also, if you just look at a simple map of, as of middle of September, vaccination rates, there is a horrible disparity between between different countries in the world. Most anyone who's, who's listening to this is privileged. And if for some weird reason you know how tech functions and you have chosen not to be vaccinated yet, um, do it. Just f do it. There is no reason not to, please. You're prolonging this thing for everyone. Other people would clamor to get this thing. COVAX schedule still runs into 2023, um, which tells you how bad the rest is compared to us. It's a situation. The main things, of of the conference um and as per usual when when i try and go a little bit deep it feels weird to talk about those aspects but they're still relevant we have a really really nice setup or lineup this year and i would really want to be with you and experience this in person many of those things will be pre-recorded we'll make do um hopefully next week uh, next year will be better Let's hope. Let's walk through through the thing quickly. Um, we are starting off with sparse histograms, um, presented by Ganesh and by Dieter. Um, quite nice. Um, it's it's one of the to be highlight features of 3.0. Uh, next, we'll take a look at Thanos and how LastPass gradually gradually adopted it. Um, moving on then to practical Kubernetes monitoring. Uh, Sorry, Christian Fekete will be doing uh, the talk before. Moving on to practical Kubernetes monitoring with Prometheus uh, by Michael Friedrich, uh, one of those people who have been around Prometheus for what feels like forever. Then we have Bartek, and I didn't ask how to pronounce the name early enough. So Harshita, I think. Uh, sorry if I got it wrong. Contact me, I'll, I'll, I'll train it, I promise. Auto instrumenting of Prometheus for red monitoring with eBPF. eBPF is obviously a super hot topic at the moment. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. Then we have a block of lightning talks. Machine learning with observability with uh, machine learning observability with Prometheus by Shiava Lamba. Who are you? A heuristic approximation to service identification by David de, Tor David de Toros. Green Dick, monitor your plants with Prometheus by Francesca Guad. Okay, I'm just going with four names. Um, sorry. And uh, traditional, transactionally remote write and why you should care by Harishan. Ending that segment with Prometheus and Debian by Martina Ferroy. Those will be all the pre recorded ones. And then we move to this, what is hopefully the in person block. Um, TSDB data compaction um, without a headache by Ben Yi. Deep network traffic observability with PacketVisor and Prometheus by Shannon. I hope that this will actually mean that at some point we can we can use this as a kind of NetFlow um, exporter or NetFlow bypassing mechanism to get NetFlow data into Prometheus. In particular, of course, uh, PacketVisor has a few nice things where you can distribute the processing of your traces or of your network flows and such. Um, and do the computation at the edge, and then you just um, give reduced amounts of data up, which is super nice because the scale of the uh, default free zone in the BGP network is uh, way too large and makes pretty much every single tool open source or even running at large search engines just explode 
way too much kernelity. You can tell I used to be a networking person. Then we have telemetry is not having to hope by own deal. It's a little bit of a personal story of and and this intersection of tech and and uh, personal development, which I really like. Then we have streaming recording roofs for Prometheus, Thanos, and Cortex with the M3 coordinator by Gibbs and Rob. Ecosystem tools to select the best remote storage solution by Medway. Connecting with Prometheus World, logs and metrics by Eduardo, Eduardo de Silva. De Silva, yeah. Then uh, learning from Cortex, lightning talk um, to improve PromScale HA by Medway again. Monitor your SOA stack with Prometheus and Grafana by Michael Schmidtmeier. And we then have the closing remarks by Chris, one of Prometheus team. Maybe, hopefully, there will be a CNCF hosted uh, happy hour for co-located events afterwards. We'll see. I don't know. I'm I'm not betting on it, but I'm hoping there will be. And that is the the overview. There's a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, we follow the CNCF code of conduct, and we take it extremely seriously. One of the benefits of having online things is that we are usually able to filter out any of those. This is more a statement, not a question um, kind of things. But if you manage to sneak through, we will absolutely shut you down. So please just don't bother. Um, it's disrespectful for the speaker and for the audience. There is a URL, the same as for the last uh, PromCon, the virtual one, um, where we can coordinate in case of something going horrifically wrong. I, hope there won't be and I don't expect it, but better safe than sorry, we just have it. To end on, on a more serious and not tech note again, we are still in a really bad place worldwide. If you didn't, or even if you had done it before, reach out to your friends, your family, your coworkers, talk to people, try and find the ones who are currently having a hard time and try to just help them. We'll still need it for some time. Thank you and have a lot of fun.